Um, so for this tutorial I'll be showing you how to make a nice uh, wood engraved text effect into some wood. So first of all open your file shell, create a new document. Uh, 500 by 375 will do. We'll name it wood engraved. Wow, bad spell. Um, yeah, background white. Sounds okay. And the first thing you're going to want to do is copy this wood effect here. I'll put this link in the description so you can copy the image. So I'll copy that. Control and V. And then if, if that doesn't size up to your document, I should do some bit though. You should follow in the same 500 by 375 as me. But if it doesn't, press Control and T. And you can just resize it doing that. And once you resize it, press Enter. Then get your text icon. And I'm using the font Anatole Display SSI. Um, if you don't have this, I'll put a link in the description as well for you to download that. And I'm just going to type in one zip and I'll change the font to the bar one zip down. Maybe not. And that's still pretty big. We'll do one zip by it. Okay. And delete this background because we don't need it. Um, I'm just going to put this one in text in the middle. So with the uh, layer one selected, which is the wood background, press Ctrl and A. Go back to your text layer, click on your move tool, and click on this option here. So that's got it in the middle now. And then move it down a bit as well. Right, you got D select first, so Ctrl and A. And move it down the arrow comes a bit. I'm going to put some text underneath the one in bit, so it's not going to be exact in the middle. So about there will do. Um, now I'm going to make this one hit into multiply. So I'll click multiply and L can be 90%. Like that. Um, this, this color, by the way, this one is 80358. That one should go out, that's okay. Right click on your blending options. And these are the options you want to use. So the drop shadow, uh, screen, and I've done 90 by 72 in just a light, start brown color. Uh, 34 opacity, 120 degree angle, global light checked on. Distance 2, spread 0, side is 1. Contour normal. So the quality for all this but it's just uh, default settings. And in the shadow, uh, blend mode multiplier with the color black. I'll paste it around 30%. Angle 120 degrees, distance 3, choke 0, size 4. And the contour is the second one down. Uh, the out in, no outer glow, the inner glow. Uh, multiply again, I'll paste it into it one, no noise, and color A858, that's what we copy in terms of I've got a sort of a middly brown. Um, software technique, source edge, choke there on size 8, and the contour is the fish one across, which is this one. Um, travel and embossed, style, which is the glow, technique is a lot, and depth 100%, direction is all. Size is one and soften is zero. Angle one to our global wide check again. Altitude there and the contour is the third one along. Anti analyzed. Yeah, we'll have that anti analyzed as well. Highlight mode screen and color white 100%. Shadow overlay color black and face it 10%. Contour is this one. There we go. Uh, this one, so it's like second down for I'll just get that one on. Range 50%, and then the texture, I've just got bubbles going on there. Scale 59 and depth plus 100, and look at the layer. And the last one is the gradient overlay, which is multiply 5%, gradient, just three black to white, and have reverse checks on, so you should get that. Style radio, align with the layer, angle 170, range scale 149. Once you've got all that, click OK. Um, this is looking good, but as if it's an actual wood engraved text, it wouldn't be this clean cut like in the angles. So to create a bit more like um, 
jagged mess around the edges, what you're going to have to do is create a new document, same working height again, and copy this image again, and control and V to finish the end, and then press control shift and U, which desaturates the whole core, and then save this, it's a file save on. save it as D Save that. Okay. We go back to this layer and Control and J to duplicate that layer, the wanted layer, and then go to. Uh, you want to rasterize it first, actually. Uh, the one which isn't rasterized, which is the first one, change the film to five. So go back to the one is copy. Well, switch this one on first so I don't get in the way. Go back to your copy one. Just get rid of it and then. Um, go to filter, to start, and display. Change the horizontal to 5 and the vertical to 5. Stretch to fit and the edge pixel checked on. That's okay. And that file uh, which I've just made, which is display to me, come back and open that up. And there you go, you can see the edges are much more jagged, it looks much more realistic than when you check this on as well. Much better. And now I'm just going to put another text in the so I'll get a new layer. Make a new text. Make the size of the base here. Just put it in. I'm just going to put one, two. Well, one entirely there, I'm going to put that. Um, and I, um, control and A with this one again. And now I'll I can move to the one. Just to make it off the Right, yeah, control and D, D to map that. Move it up again with the arrow keys. Um, and you got to get the same blending options. I've saved mine, which is just here. So if you've got to save yours, go back to your wanted one, click on your blending options, and just click on new style, and save it whatever you want. And when you want to open that up, click on styles, and it'll be there, the furthest one down. Uh, so once we've done that, I'm going to copy that down. Rasterize this one. Change this one to 40% again. So then I'll align. Um, I need to go to filter, start and displace it then. Horizontal 3 and vertical 3, just because it's a small tab. And desaturate on again. Displace the point. Right, so control on Z, that's a bit too cut out. Change it to control on Z, by the way, and that's just a quick step backward. So filter again, just start the split. Oh, what? This layer, sorry. This layer, the one I keep rasterized. Filter, start the split. It's about the two and three. Okay. Displacement, and there you go. That's just a basic wood engraving text which uh, you can follow and hopefully you found easy to do. If you've got any queries or comments, just put them um, in the comments page and I'll see if I can reply to them as quick as possible. Thanks for watching.